Bon. She would and my and my translated my God, my God, why has God forsaken me? That word there is Allah, Allah. In Hebrew it is Allah, Allah, Lama Sabahtani. In Arabic, Allah, Allah, Lama Saraktani. This is the name of God which he worship Allah. We ask the Jehovah's Witnesses, you have a lot of them, I understand, in the Scandinavian country. A lot more than anybody, they are full of life and vigor. The Jehovah's Witnesses. And they come to tell everybody, they are Christians. They say they are Christians, and they say the rest of Christians in them are pagans, Bushriks. They say, we are not saying. They say that the name of God is Jehovah. I'm sure you must have heard that. Ask the fellow, next time you come across such people, I'm also informing you, sir. Ask the fellow, where did you get this word Jehovah from? He says, it's in the Bible. So what does the Bible say? In the Hebrew Bible, in the original manuscript, is the word Jehovah there? And the guy will tell you. He will tell you. And what is there? He will tell you, he says, there is a tetragrammaton. In English, he will tell you, there is a tetragrammaton. So what is a tetragrammaton? You know, I have come across doctors and boys, professors. In the Illinois University in America, and asking them, anybody here who knows what is the tetragrammaton? And believe me, there was one, not one lecturer, American, who knew what it was. That's just funny, every Tom, Dick, and Harry among the Jehovah's Witnesses, they know the word tetragrammaton. And you don't know? No, it's a special word. They have uncopied, invented. Tetragrammaton. What is tetragrammaton? Tetra means four, and grammaton means letters. Four letter words. Then why don't you call a four letter word a four letter word? Why do you have to tantalize people with a 14-letter word to tell us tetragrammaton when you say four-letter word? Do you know why? Because in English, when you say the four-letter word, you give you another name. In my country, Lady Chatterley's Lover, a book, Lady Chatterley's Lover was banned for 20 years because of one four-letter word. I, I hope you can guess what I'm talking about. Four-letter word. You understand? If you don't, ask your neighbor. When the lecture is over, what is this four letter word? Tell you. So, what are those four letters? It's a Y H W H in Hebrew, Yot Ha Vav Ha. I said these are consonants. Y H W H. You can't produce a sound without vowels. You can't produce a sound. Add the vowels anyhow, as you like. Whatever they do. They can never get a J. Where did you get the J from? Jehovah. Where did you get the J from? J is another consonant. At the vowels, it becomes Yahuwah. What is Yahuwah? Yah in Arabic and Hebrew means O. Yahuwah in Arabic means He. And Hu in Hebrew means He. Yahuwah means O. He. Who? Elohim. El in Hebrew means God. Elah in Hebrew means God. An alternative spelling, Allah, is here in the Bible. This one here is by Scofield, J.J. Scofield, Reverend Scofield, D.D., Doctor of Divinity, backed by nine other D.D.'s, not D.D.'s, that, D.D.'s. They tell us here, first book of the Bible, Genesis, first chapter, first verse. It says, in the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. And the word God has got a number given, you look down, down in the commentary and tell you it's L, L-A, and also alternatively A-L-A-H, Allah. We are only telling the Christians, look, spell it as you like. But my language, I want you to try to pronounce as you ought to pronounce. A-L-A-H is Allah, not Allah. Say, say Allah, all of you. Say Allah, Allah. Allah. Say, not Allah. But you can write A L A H, but don't say Allah, say Allah. Allah. So, this is El, Allah, Jesus is crying. Allah, Allah, Lama Tarakta. Oh my Allah, oh my Allah, why have you forsaken me? This is the name of God, and this is the God that Jesus worshipped. He's telling his people, come, I will teach you how to pray. He said, pray like this. O oh, our Father, which are in heaven, yours and mine, you could be Judas. Judas was in the group, the traitor. 
He is the father of everybody, the sinner and the saint. He is the Lord, cherisher, sustainer, evolver of everybody. Oh, our father, which are in heaven, not the father of Jesus Christ in heaven, our father in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Where does he claim, exclusive claim to God Almighty that he is his father? If he called him my father, yes. Before he said that the first time, look at the Gospel of St. Matthew. As soon as you start chapter 1, verse 1, you start reading there, and you'll find the expression, your father, thy father, your father, thy father, 13 times before one time he says, my father. Can you imagine? 13 times he said, God Almighty, your father. 13 times he said, your father, thy father is singular, your more than one, but just in multiple, your thy father, your thy father, your father. 13 times before one time he said, my father. But amazing, people only see the one time and they will see the 13. And come brothers, come let us reason together and inshallah we'll find a way of understanding each other's point of view. You don't have to be converted. You don't have to convert us. We are going to convert you. We can't convert. Nobody can really convert. This is in the hands of God. But at least we can understand each other's point of views. So we will come more further. Far from God. Come to the end. Sheikh Ahmed Didat, he's a scholar, he's a learned man. I'm not a scholar. I've studied the theology for eight years, but I'm not so clever in the scriptures as is Sheikh Ahmed Didat. So, We have come together t t this evening to, um, to meet each other. And I'm, I'm not interested in convincing you to Christianity, trying to convert you. We worship one God. And Ahmed... <laughs> He has precisely shown us where this God is crying out his name on the cross. Eli Ali, Allah, Allah. We worship the same God, but we are different. We express ourselves in a different language. And Christianity is much more ancient than Jesus Christ. Because Christianity has taken from heathen a lot of rituals, the two sacraments, in the Bible, in the New Testament, for us Protestants are the baptism, to be baptized to Jesus Christ, to his death, in order to become resurrected with him at the end of the days. Because he will surely come to us and lead us to the other side. This is our belief. He is our savior. And because Christ is not created like things, like animals, he is created and is of the being of his father. Moses, he is in the wilderness and 
he's pasturing the goats 